Hey folks, Tanner Cherney here, Devil's Lake, North Dakota, checking in this week with your fishing report. As you can see, I'm uh, in the conference of the AC this morning. It's been a hot one on the lake this last week. Uh, we've had temperatures soar into well over the 90s, which for early June is a little crazy, but uh, if you're out in the water, it can definitely take a toll on a person. So a quick word of the wise is make sure you bring plenty of water, you stay hydrated, fish in the morning or the evenings if you can, or uh, make sure you got proper sunshade or a bimini top to help keep that sun off you because it does take a toll. Um, but with that, the water temps have definitely risen. We've seen upwards of mid 70s to almost 80s in some areas, so in the shallow water areas. Um, and with that, it's starting to dirty up the water, which with that pitching bite we have, that's still going on pretty strong, whether you're pitching crankbaits, jigs and plastics up shallow, or you're pitching your, your slip bobber with a leech outside of uh, weed lines. Um, still a great way to target devils like walleyes right now. But honestly, this is that transition into the summer bite. It might be a few weeks earlier than normal, uh, but it's my favorite time of the year when we start to get pulling bottom bouncers and spinners or smile blades, which have become my personal favorite over the last year or two. Um, I just wanted to talk, show you how I tie up my uh, spinners as we move into this bite. So if anyone watching this can take a little bit of a way and have something prepared for their next trip up the Devil's Lake and hopefully it helps them put a few more walleyes in the boat. Uh, just like pitching, I always like to tie up a leader, my own with fluorocarbon. I start with about a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, either use a bait keeper hook size one or two, and then I also have um, slow death hooks. And then on calm days, hot calm days with live bait presentation, I love to use a slow death. Great with half a worm or so, give you a little tail and it just seems to be a deadly combo for walleyes. Um, I tie that up and as I do with jigs, having a multitude of different colors, I have a ton of different bead colors and then a ton of different smile blade colors. And I don't know if necessarily anything makes a difference, but for my purposes, I notice a difference and I have a lot of different ones tied up. Um, two foot leader with that, with the beads, main thing is keep that smile blade or spinner with a quick swivel, swap swivel on there, uh, just far enough away from that hook so it's not in there where the bait is. And then I usually put a barrel swivel on there just to finish that off. And like I said, two foot leader, pull that at about a half mile an hour to a mile an hour with a smile blade, deadly combo for Devil's Lake. Um, word of the wise, get yourself some pool noodles, really cheap and inexpensive way to keep your spinners and smile blades or Lindy rigs, whatever you're fishing with, easy to get to, stored nicely, you can find your colors, keep it in the boat, you're not worrying about tangles and messes, especially when you get into that hot and heavy bite. Um, areas of target right now, if you're shallow water pitching kind of bite, look for those new weed growths, the new cattails starting to pop out. Um, if you want to start pulling bottom bouncers and spinners, look for that old lake shoreline and about that 20 foot contour. And like I said, get yourself in there half mile an hour to a mile an hour, depending on if you're pulling spinners or blade, uh, butterfly blades. And once you find a fish or two, mark those spots and work them back and forth. You'll be surprised how many fish are holding in one spot. Uh, last thing I want to mention is good luck to all fishing the Casino Cup Walleye Tournament this weekend. Really excited to see the weights that come out of here. There's been a lot of good fish in the last month and I can't wait to see how it keeps going. And uh, if, you, if you venture out on the water this weekend or in the next week or two and you're watching this, make sure to use hashtag Devils Lake ND with your post. We love seeing what everyone's doing out there. Um, again, stay cool, stay hydrated, keep the lines tight. We'll see you next week.